ragweed, non-native species, very common waste places, plant. Oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? That's frustrating. Bumblebee just flew away. I see a little bit of, looks like spit right there. See that little bit right there? My grandmother thought that was bat spit. <laughs> Said, don't get any on you because if you do, she had this line. If you do, it will not kill you, but it will ruin your life. And she never explained it. She said we had a big lizard in South Carolina. We got a big one. You know, it gets to be a foot long. Uh, the males have a pink head. They are bad looking. Uh, but they're non-venomous. We don't have any venomous lizards. I mean, if you were to get bitten, they would pinch you a little bit. It's called a skink. She called them blue-tailed scorpions. She said if they bit you, they won't kill you but they will ruin your life. <laughs> a rattle of a rattlesnake, she said, has little poisonous particles in it. If you shake it, oh, don't ever shake it in front of you, because the particles get in behind your eyes, somehow get to your brain, and they won't kill you, but it will ruin your life. Now, we had a pretty big family reunion every now and then. I wanted to meet somebody in the family who'd had their life ruined by you. <laughs> Man, man could never introduce me. Ragweed, real problem, isn't it? And this grows out in fields where goldenrod grows. Goldenrod, the pollen's very heavy. It's not a wind-pollinated plant like this is. It's insect-pollinated. Goldenrod never causes problems. But it's the plant you see in the fall. You don't notice this one. You know, goldenrod was going to be our national flower until folks who had allergic reactions who were legislators said, no way! Like those people in Virginia, I can't, I want to go grab them and sort of give them a little therapy. I mean, really, does it matter that it doesn't have, you know, but that's ragweed. The other one out here that's kind of funny and interesting, and honestly, I wouldn't expect this particular plant Right here, you know humans had something to do with it. A pair of stickers at the base of these leaves. Let me just get one leaf off without getting stuck. Ow. <laughs> you can see right there. See that little sticker right there? Can you see that? Yeah. A pair of these at the base of the leaf. Rounded leaflets. This is one leaf, right? Rounded leaflets, not jagged on the edge. This is one of the locusts. You guess black locust here. Um, not honey locust, but black locust. Um, these are also members of the pea family. They have that connection with the nitrogen fixing bacteria. So these plants are often planted in waste places to stabilize the soil because they're going to grow there and do nicely. And they turn into, you know, pretty reasonable sized trees <coughs> that we love to make, don't we, in the mountains, especially where this is common. Fences. They produce uh, chemicals in the wood that keep insects from working on it. So that's kind of nice. And we use them as split rail fences all the time. Black um, locusts. I did nature, the last nature scene shows we did were in a place called Chernobyl in Ukraine. Did you see that? Yeah. Pretty weird. Yeah. Nature's coming back. I mean, not perfectly, but coming back over there. And if you saw that show, there are two trees there that are not native to Europe that are native to the southeastern United States. And one of them was black locust, which has done well even in the radionuclide shower. They call it uh, false acacia. It has acacia-like flowers related. The other one, plant that we call box elder. I noticed them growing right uh, in front of the Price House. Uh, it's a maple. Very common on floodplain forests in the east and all the way out into the west a good distance. They call it American maple. And that is the tree that took over all of the exclusion zone, where everyone was removed. Native plants didn't do quite as well. The pines got hit really badly. But our tree, non-native over there, is becoming an invasive species because it's taken over the world. And they call it American maple. <clears throat>